I'm going to show you how I drew this Winnie the Pooh character. First of all, you start with a sketch of a nice position that you like. And then you choose the colour. So this is a really bright yellow that I wanted to start off with to show the highlights. And this is a technique, blowing technique, just to create a bit more interest in the picture. Um, and it's kind of makes each painting a little different. So I'm painting the highlights, the lighter areas first, and then the darker areas. Um, so you can see his cheeks are quite light, his forehead is quite light. Now I'm going back over it with darker yellow. Into the eyes, under the chin. To create that contrast. This is not a 3D piece. Um, and this is a cartoon, but there, I do want light and shadow to be playing here. And again, I'm just using the blowing technique to create more interest and more splash marks on my artwork. But still in keeping with the idea that the light is coming from above, so the light is on the top of his arms, going to be on the top of his nose, and the shadows are going to be underneath. So on his belly, obviously it's quite dark. And you can see the contrast between the two yellows. And now we're starting with the t-shirt. And so when I'm painting in the red, I'm being careful to avoid the splash marks of the yellow that's on top. Otherwise you're kind of undoing your own work. So just be careful around any paths of yellow going through his red t-shirt. And again I'm trying to use light and dark. Starting with the dark and blowing out the dark pieces. It gives a, a more striking colour when you do that, rather than the watered down lighter pieces. And then when I'm happy with the dark, then I just put a water wash onto the lighter places, uh, just to wet it, to prepare it for the paint, and then add a little bit of red up there. So it's, it's almost a pink. And we use an actual pink for his tongue. And of course, Winnie the Pooh's favourite food, I think it's her only food, is honey. So just drawing in the honey. Now this just takes time and layering. Because um, you're trying to convey liquid. Um, it's not hyper-realistic. It's still in the form of a cartoon. But it's just blending in the different tones of the honey, the browns, the golds, the yellows, the oranges, mixing it in, making sure there's still highlights to show that it's a, it's a liquid texture. And just going over it again and again until, until I was happy with it. Now I'm going to the pot again, always starting with a light shade. So it's going to be a blue pot, so I'm just painting in the highlights again, being careful to avoid the splash marks from the red t shirt this time, allowing the line colour to be clear and creating a bit more interest with the blue, blowing that out.
and I'm just going in adding in the details of pen so his eyes his nose you see all these little highlights on there just to give him a bit of character going in with all the shadows and the t-shirt And after you've added any final little touches, you're done. There you are, you have a beautiful watercolour of Winnie the Pooh. Thank you for watching.